What's up guys, it's your boy Trooper back at the game with some more gameplays and as you saw by the title, we're having some more Star Wars Battlefront 2 footage for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I don't, I'm not even sure if you guys know already, but I'm pretty sure you know that the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 is about to come out soon. So yeah, you know, um, because of that, I decided to download my live streams and uh, yeah, you know, replay uh, we play them for you guys for this week. So yeah, uh, I'm not exactly sure who's playing on this one. Um, I do know that me and my cousin, we were both playing together um, yeah, during this uh, Battlefront 2 beta. But I believe this is me uh, playing, so I'm just going to act like it's me. And I guess I'm going to give you guys my commentary on the game so far, or at least on the match, and I guess how I was playing or how my cousin was playing. But yeah, anyways, yeah, um, I believe this is me. So yeah, this is me as the heavy. I'm not gonna lie, the heavy is probably one of my favorite uh, classes on the game. Like they feel super powerful. They feel like 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 they you know they also got like like a like a uh, larger health pool than like regular troops, so you can like live longer. And yeah, they got a lot of uh, a lot of pros, not really too many negatives. Uh, so yeah, that's what I like about that. But yeah, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's me dominating right now. I'm not sure how many people I take out, but I got over a thousand points. I just need four more of those so I can get my boy Darth Maul or Boba Fett. I'll be happy with both. Even though I love the Jedi's or against the Sith. Boba Fett and like the shooters are actually pretty good. I'm not even allowing that. Like real talk guys. Like with Boba Fett you can like freaking you know be in the air all the time. And then you get that epic uh, uh, scorecard thing where you get like like 100% invernable or something while you're in the air doing Mitchell Barrage. Use that against the Jedi. Good man, that's, that's game over pretty much. You can just keep spamming that, really. But yeah, I find funny guys. Oh, okay, I didn't get the kill. I was close. One thing I like about this game, too, the rolling is so nice on here. Um, when I played the other Battlefront one, the one from EA, um, I don't know, the rolling didn't feel that well like this game does. Like, I don't know, something about the rolling on this feels right. And I like how it's different depending on what type of class you are. So like if you're like a special class, like somebody with, with like a jetpack, you can your role is like a little you know, like a little bit different compared to like just a regular troop, you know, regular troops and whatnot. But yeah, I do I do remember this. So yeah, the, yeah guys, this is this is my gameplay right here. I do remember this. Yeah, I remember I I did not know what I was gonna do um, in this. Like this is my first time getting in a spaceship. Um I guess in the air. I mean, not in the air, but like on the planet. As you see, uh, I'm sucking horribly at this. I think I still have my barrel roll on. I think so. Yeah, I really didn't. Uh, I really, I really couldn't like maneuver in there. Like I should be able to. Like, like in later gameplays, you guys saw on my channel when I took off the barrel roll. So yeah, guys, if you suck um, in the air, definitely take out the barrel roll. I'm, I'm telling you, it will save your life. Just, just go to your start menu take out barrel roll I'm telling you guys that will definitely definitely save you some you know save you some frustration <laughs> like it did for me but yeah okay that's me back in the back in the heavy you know I'm like okay I I sucked on that and I did that live but you know what I'm a, you know I'm a, I'm you know I'm gonna still be a thug on this do do work um, as you can as, as you guys can see I'm not really playing the objective at all either I don't believe this is before I started uh, you know, playing the objectives. This is when I'm kind of just getting used to all the controls and, you know, just being in, in like an awe that I'm playing from Star Wars Battlefront 2 again. Even though it's not like the original, I think it does have a lot of pros. The graphics look amazing. Combat looks pretty good. And, um, you know, picking out like the, um, I guess your Jedi, your heroes, and uh, like the other special classes and stuff. I think that's pretty cool how you can buy it. Um, if you guys remember the first Battlefront 2, you know, it's pretty much you like you like you couldn't buy anything like that pretty much like um, it would kind of be just, you know just based on your skill. Uh, usually when I did play, I usually got the Jedi when I played with my friends, cousins, family or anything like that cuz I could get a whole bunch of, lot of a whole lot of kills real quick. But I do like this kind of more. And I like how you can have two different heroes on the uh, on the battlefield and that's pretty cool. So you have two, you know, two awesome people in the battlefield, and then you can have the other people have, uh, you know, other uh, special 
special classes like the jump pack or the wookie or anything like that. Okay, I got that kill. I'm so surprised I got that kill from that distance. I forgot how far this thing can shoot. Or like how like what's the perfect range. I think later on I find out. I know I forgot now, but <laughs> I think during the time when I was playing this Battlefront 2 a lot, I think I did know. But yeah, this is me trying to sneak around. You know, trying to you know, trying to get some people from the side. I'm not exactly sure um how uh crouching actually affects um like the radar. Um I'm not sure if you're crouching they can't see you or is it blink on and off kinda like Destiny 2. So yeah, if you do know that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, that's, right, I'm gonna get this guy. Got eliminated. It's all good though. Yeah, as you guys can see, <laughs> I started out really good. I got like a thousand points in one match, and now I'm barely getting any points. I only got what 1,544. It, it said earlier. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and try somebody new. I think, and then I, th I then I think I went back. <laughs> um, yeah, the offers of classes. I'm not for sure. Like, um, I do remember. I do remember playing as the offer of classes. Um, like maybe a couple, like a couple rounds, a couple, you know, a couple lives. Um, they're they're okay. Like I do like their turret. It's just like their health. Like, I don't know. They feel like they die a lot, like really quick. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good. Maybe I'm just not the best with them yet. I'm pretty sure when the full games comes out, you know, um, after I probably uh, beast on my salt and heavy furs, then I'm probably going to go to the, uh, to the, you know, to the officer on there. But yeah, this is me trying to get some work in. I, I do love how on the reloading, how um, kind of like a like, kind of like a little mini game. So if you, if you hit it just right, you can get the you, 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 you can hit that gold uh, gold mark. You hit that gold mark. Uh, once you hit that, you have like a brief, um, like a brief period of like extra damage, I believe, and like extra range, I believe. I do know that you do get extra damage though with the golden. I think that's cool because um, I, I really like that uh, type of style, like in uh, Gears of War, how you, you know, like reload real quick and have like a slight boost. I, I really like that. So that's cool that they implemented that in here pretty well. But all right, yeah, this part right here, I like a little corridor. This is a perfect time to get freaking uh dark mall in there you can do a freaking spinning cartwheel in there that would be perfect kylo would be perfect in there too i'm not gonna lie guys kylo would be perfect in a little corridor like that have at least five six seven eight nine people in there he you know then uh with kylo you can use the freeze and then you can use your fury oh that would be great uh yoda would probably be good too if you can like rush in there real quick and then you can like push everybody back that would be cool too I'm trying to think who else would be good in that corridor. Let me know in the comment section who else you think would be good. Um, when if if Grievous comes out, I think he would be great too. I'm pretty sure he'll have a move that he can have like all four arms out, and like he's like invulnerable for like maybe ten seconds. I think you know I think that would be great for that area too. But yeah, uh, Kylo. Oh man, I definitely can't wait to play as Kylo. I, I love that freezing move. Like man, that corridor that would be perfect to freeze everybody in motion. And then, you know, you come in, do the fury, and then you have all your, your teammates behind you pushing through. Like, oh man, guys, this would be an instant, instant winner right there. Do the freeze, fury, and then, uh, like, I guess if they get out of that, you can then use the pull, pull, you know, pull them back out. <laughs> I think that would be cool. But yeah, this is me uh, with my other favorite um, troop, super, or maybe my, my battle droid, my super droid, super battle droid. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these used to be the uh, main infantry in the original Battlefront 2. They were a beast in. They're extra beastly now, I'm not going to lie. You got your missile. Uh, depending on which battle droid you have, you have like your jetpack, so... I'm, you know, I'm definitely loving them. I can definitely get a lot of kills with them too. I'm not sure if I do on this one or not, I just will see all together. But yeah, I do, I do enjoy being the, uh, the super battle droid in this game. Super fun. And a good way to rack up some kills. If only if, if only uh, when you were, like special special uh, troopers like this, you can get like extra points. You know, because um, I feel like if, if you can get extra points to get to a uh, like a like a main hero faster, I feel like more people will play with the actual like other troops. 
a lot of people don't pick anybody like like don't just save all the points until um, you know until they can get a hero and then if they can't get a hero then they just never uh they never actually use the points i know they have to me like like quite a few times because i really wanted to be a hero and I had all my points but the hero never died so i never i never used my points at all in the whole match but yeah if there's any way that when you pick out like a vehicle or like special trip like this you get way more points to be a leader faster i think there'll be a lot more people you know being these um, regular troopers yeah, that's me still beasting. Okay, so it looks like I do live uh, quite a while on this. I may live until the end. I'm not for sure. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm beasting right now, you know. You know, doing some work, doing some work. Eliminated. You know, I had to bring it back old school, you know. Old school Battlefront 2 days, the OG days. Back when I felt like I was a beast. Um, I wish they had the Jordicus. They, those are my favorite infantry. I could be Jedi. I could be anybody with those. I just, I just love them. Like they were so cool, man. You can like roll around so quick. Get out, you know, get out your shell. Put your shield on. It's just beast mode. Like even though, even though they were slow, uh, I just, I just enjoy them, Jordy. Because um, EA, if you're watching this, definitely bring back those Jordy. Because I love the freaking Jordy. Because um, if you if, if if you're still watching this this far, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I put in hashtag Droidicus. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the vid. Um, I had a blast commentating this gameplay. Um, I definitely got at least ten more uh, Star Wars videos, so uh, you know I'm probably going to be definitely uh, releasing those throughout the week. And then um, when the EA Early Access uh, comes on for Star Wars Battlefront Two, you, you you know you're going to definitely see me on that. Uh, hopefully by then I'll be in my new spot so I can definitely do live streams right when I get on that. Um, if possible, maybe in 4K. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the vid. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope that all of you have a groovy day today. Cheers.